the prairie will be your new home. adventures of Lightning Jim. Of late years, we have heard much about dope smuggling rings and the fight which the government wages constantly against this terrible traffic. But dope smuggling is not a new menace. Sixty years ago, dope began coming into the country in alarming quantities, and United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy Whitey Larson were assigned to track down the smuggling ring that was responsible. The clue they had to work on was the fact that dope had been discovered concealed in grain sacks which had been shipped from a small town in Texas across the border from Mexico. Lightning Jim decides to seek the smugglers in Mexico while Whitey remains in Texas to seek clues on the American side. We now find Whitey talking to the local freight agent in the Soldado, local dine and dance palace. Well, Mr. Norton, I reckon I'm much obliged to you for telling me something about this country. Well, <laughs> I reckon you sure are ignorant, stranger. There ain't no work around here for a cow hand. This is all farming country. Oh, of course, there's a few head of cattle, but not enough to put in the poke. Uh, yes, yeah, that's too bad. Uh, you see, I needed a job. Say, maybe you could think of something. Well, as freight agent of this region, I think I know about everybody. But I can't think of nobody that's looking for work. <laughs> oh, say, listen, you might try the UW. They have a hard time keeping uh, men uh, out the, there. The, the UW, uh, what's that, the cattle ranch? Well, it used to be. Now it's just a feed business. The men pick up the grain around the country, they sack it, and they bring it to me for shipping. Oh, yes, that's so. all. Uh, they do lots of business, uh, this UW. Well, most of the business down here. But they're a tough bunch of hombres out there. I don't think you'd want to monkey none with them. Well, I reckon when you're looking for work, you can't be too choosy. I just think I will go out there and look them up. <laughs> Whitey, reasoning that the UW Ranch might be the headquarters of the dope smuggling ring, decides to investigate. As he nears the ranch house, he pretends to be taken suddenly ill so that he can ask to stay there without arousing suspicion. Hello? Hello? Hey, is there anybody in the ranch house? Nothing around here. You go now. Goodbye. But I can't go no further. I'm a sick man. Where is sick? I got to get to bed. Sally, very sorry you sick, but you go now. Boss men and that like stranger men around here. He no care if you sick. Make you sicker if boss men find you hang around here. Goodbye. But, but see, uh, couldn't you stay overnight? Uh, maybe you could uh, put me someplace where the boss wouldn't find me. I can't go no further. I'm all tucked out. Sally, would like to help you. Me is Sun Lee. Very nice boy, Sun Lee. Would like to help sick men. But what men mean like a rat poison? He find you here. He kill both of us. He don't like nobody hang around here. Goodbye now. Well, I think I'm going to faint. Everything's getting blacker and blacker in front of me. Ah! He's faint. He's fallen ground. Oh, trouble, 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 all time trouble for poor Sun Lee. Ah, Sun Lee think he go back China. I think better go back China quick. You feel better now? You open eyes. Life fell. Oh, where am I? See, how did I get there? You faint. You fall from horse. I bring you here. 
drag you here. Too heavy to carry. Sun Lee, not strong. Uh, thank you. That, that sure was nice to you, Sun Lee. My name is Whitey. Uh, yes, call me Whitey. Please to meet, Mr. Whitey. But now, uh, Sun Lee take care of you. You do something for Sun Lee? Sure, sure, Sun Lee. Uh, what you want me to do? You sick men. You can ride tonight, but a boss man must not find you. Otherwise, uh, very bad for you and for Sun Lee. Boss man, not nice man. See, uh, where you get me, Sun Lee? Uh, what is this funny little room here? This feed room. Keep bags here to store feed. Door there, open to bunkhouse. Oh, and uh, you want me to stay in here and hide myself? That's right. Sun Lee, hide horse. Boss man, no find. If boss man not come in this room, you safe. Sun Lee safe. You make no sound. You keep still like frightened rabbit. <laughs> yo, yo, sure, Sun Lee. I keep still as a yak rabbit hiding in the cabbage patch. You sleep. In morning, you leave. If... Well, uh, what do you mean, if? If boss man not find you. If he find, you not leave. And poor Sun Lee never get back to China. <laughs> Yapping, both of you. You're getting good money all this, ain't you? More than you can make any other way. Listen, if you're figuring on quitting, you No, too. no, Cloud. I'm not fussing about the money. I just thought maybe we could hire some hombres to do that heavy uh, work. Sure. Hire somebody else. Let somebody else fool around here and find out what we're doing. Then we either got to declare somebody else in or kill them. And it's getting plum dangerous to do any killing anymore. Those dang law badges are everywhere. You don't think they've got their eyes on us, do you, Cloud? Why, of course they ain't. Why should they? We got a legitimate business here. And we handle it legitimate like, too. They'll never tumble, but, uh, I don't want nobody else snooping around here. You understand that? Well, sure, sure, Cloud. All right, I reckon. Sure, oh, Cloud's right. Well, all right. Sunny! Sunny! Bless that chink, I'm starved. Sun Lee! Emily, got good supper tonight. Very good supper. Sun Lee, good cook. Yeah, that better be good. Put it down and get out. And shut that door, Sun Lee. How many times do I have to tell you to keep that door shut? Sun Lee had hands full with tray. Sun Lee, shut door now. Well, don't make excuses, or you'll fool feel my boot in your ribs there. Me close off. I don't like the way you move around here. I want you to get some shoes to wear. Those sandals don't make any sound at all. I don't like the way you crop around here. Sunny, no creep around, but yeah. Sunny buy shoes. Ah, uh, beans again. <laughs> Might as well be in jail as far as this food is concerned. Uh, maybe your royal highness would like to eat at the palace tonight, huh? Well... Now listen, you're rubbing me the wrong way lately, Surly. And you too, Ruth. Kick, kick. That's all I hear from the two of you. And I ain't said nothing about wanting to quit, Proud. Don't get me wrong there. Ah, you know, I like beans. I ain't never fussed about them. Well, Sun Lee, what are you standing around for? Trying to hear something that don't concern you? Sun Lee, so now. Sun Lee, Lee. You're dang right you're good to leave. Oh, you break my job, poor Sun Lee. Getting uppity with me lately. Well, I'll put you in your place. Not kick me. Not kick me anymore, please. Sun Lee, do nothing wrong. Good boy. Well, get out before I really break her neck and stay out, too. Well, do suddenly get out, now. I don't trust that cook. Maybe I'll have to get rid of him one of these days permanent. Ah, uh, he's too dumb to tumble to anything. Well, maybe so. <coughs> but, uh, Stinger don't want us taking any chances. Hey, what's that? Hmm? There's somebody in the storeroom. <coughs> hey, we're being spied on. Yes, Come out. Come out fast. There's three guns covering this door if you try any funny stuff. <laughs> I ain't been in a trouble to anybody. I had him at the start in a funny business. I'm a, a very sick man. How'd you get in there? What do you want? I just crawled in this afternoon. 
I was tired and uh, I wasn't feeling so well. Did that darn chink tell you to go in there? Chink? Yeah, I don't see no shine, the boy. I just crawled in there to rest. You yeah, know? well, you're due for a long rest and quit. Sure. You killed him, Cloud. I heard his skull crack. Nah, just tapped him with my gun. He'll be out for a while, but even if he is dead, that won't bring no tears to my eyes, a blasted snooper. You think he was spying on us, Clam? I don't know, but I ain't taking no chances. What's he gonna do with him? We'll tie him up, you two. Come on, get busy. And when uh, Stinger comes across tonight with the stuff, well, we'll turn him over to Stinger, and Stinger can get rid of him in Mexico. Hey, that's smart, Cloud. That way, nobody will never connect this hombre with us. Yeah, we'll tie him up and tie him up good and hard. If he does come to, he won't be in no position to start anything. <laughs> In the meantime, across the river in the little Mexican town of Reymosa, Stinger Ballou is talking with two Mexicans. You follow them all day to day like I told you? Si, si, senor. But don't let him out of my sight. We don't do no thing. We just sit there, play little bit solitaire. I don't think he look like an owl, Booter. He's looking for somebody. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right, Baca. I think he's a law badge. I can tell the breed a mile off. What does he call himself? The Weep. Huh? Weep. He just laughed a little bit and say, you can call me Jim the Weep. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to crack that whip. I don't want any strangers crawling around here trying to find out my business. <laughs> you want for me to stick those knife in him, eh? No, Pancho, no. We'll handle this diplomatic. It'll be a killing nobody can object to. What you mean, Stinger? How you kill somebody and not have people object? <laughs> That's easy. We get him in a poker game with three of us. Then Pancho here accuses him of cheating at cards. <laughs> see, then I shoot him dead before he know what happened. <laughs> oh, see, see. We can say that he was fixing to draw. That's the setup. Nobody can quarrel with that one. <laughs> and Jim the Whip won't be in a position to bother us any at all. Come on, we'll start that poker game right now. We got work to do later on. Whitey is in the hands of the Cloud Gang and is helpless. Is Jim the Whip, who has aroused the suspicions of Stinger Ballou, really lightning Jim? And will the plan of Stinger's work? We shall find this out in part two, which follows immediately. adventures of Lightning Jim. Lightning Jim and Whitey have separated in an attempt to track down the smuggling gang which has been smuggling morphine into the country in grain sacks. Whitey has been captured by Cloud, Shirley, and Roof, who handled the grain end of the smuggling business on the American border. Jim has crossed the river to Ramosa in an attempt to locate the Mexican leader. He is calling himself Jim the Whip, but Stinger Ballou and his two Mexican henchmen are suspicious that he's trailing them and have concocted a plan for his immediate removal. We see the four of them, Stinger, Poncho, Baca, and Jim the Whip, playing cards in one of the back rooms of the Agrado. Uh, give me two cards. You a stranger around here, Whip? Yeah, I'll take one card. Thought maybe a change of scenery would do me some good. Won't <laughs> pay so. Well, I'm betting. Well, that beats me. I'm out. What's your business, Whip? I'll raise you one, Pancho. Those pesos. 
I reckon he ain't got what you might call in his special business, Stinger. Just waiting for something to turn up. I am out, senor. Your luck, she is good tonight, to see? Yeah, it usually is. Gonna call me, Pancho? No, you win. You have those luck with you, huh? Not much. None of you hombres bet to suit me. Reckon it's my deal. Yeah, I reckon it is. What's your business, Stinger? Or shouldn't I ask? Oh, no reason why you shouldn't. I got nothing to hide. I'm in the export business. Exporting curios to the States. Yeah, that ought to be interesting. Just where do you pick up? I your think kid? those money cheap. What's that you say, Pancho? Oh, see, I watch him. All night he lucky. Now, when he deal those cards, I see he deal off the bottom. You got bad eyesight, Pancho, or a good imagination? I know what I see. I kill those cards. Oh. His hands were on the table, and then before anyone could see, he's gone strike with death. Sorry, I had to kill him, but it was him or me. Reckon you can testify to that if the occasion arises. Mighty fast on the draw, Whip. Fast as lightning. Anybody else want to take up the charge Pancho made? Either of you two think I'm a card shop? Oh, no, 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 senor. I saw nothing. Pancho, he don't like to lose that card. Well, I reckon you settled your differences with Pancho, Whip. I got no quarrel with you. And shall we go on with the game? Ah, uh, some other time. I don't think I want to play anymore tonight. Suit yourself. I'm going to turn in then. Kind of tired tonight myself. I'm staying upstairs if you should want to find me. Yeah, I know. Good night, Whip. I'll take care of Poncho here. I thought maybe you would. After all, he was your amigo. Well, one is not his and hasta luego. What did he mean by that hasta luego until later? I don't know, Vaca. But there ain't gonna be any later for him. I'm not taking any chances on anyone who shoots as good as he does. What you want me to do, Stinger? Now, look. We'll take Poncho out first. And I'll go on down the river and start loading. You come back here. Go up to the whip's room and use a knife. See, si. anybody wants to know, you've been with me all night. See, si, that would be the best way. See, si, Poncho, you will be avenged tonight. gun in your ribs. Oh, don't shoot, senor, for love of Dios. Don't shoot. Stop that knife. I swear I mean you no harm. I swear. Don't hurt yourself the more you have to, Baca. I know why you came. Now you're going to lead me to Stinger. And you're going to be mighty careful that you don't lead me into a trap. I swear. Don't I swear. Just start moving. And I'm going right along with my gun in your ribs. If you make one false move... I swear by the saints I will lead you right. How did you know I was coming here tonight? Well, I thought Stinger would send you to do his dirty work. And anyway, it seemed like a good idea not to go to bed. Start moving, Parker. And remember to be careful. Hey, that's you, Parker? I see now, what took you so long? I got nearly all the loading done myself. Take care of the whip all right? <laughs> perfect, Stinger. Just perfect. What? You brought me along to you like a little angel. What is this? Marker, did you sell me out? He's got a gun in my box, Stinger. Don't do anything to make him shoot. Get over there, Baca, and stand alongside Stinger. I don't get any of this. What do you think you're pulling off anyway? I'm just transacting a little business. Yeah, I know all about your business. Locker takes Stinger's gun away from him. Did you try any tricks? No, no, senor. I try no tricks. Here's the gun. Throw it in the river. Quick. I'll make you pay for this whip. You're going to be sorry. You open up one of them cans. Hurry up. I haven't anything to open it with. No, well, I have. Stand back. It's, it's soda. I'm sending soda. Soda, huh? Looks like morphine to me. Come on. Get that stuff in the boat, you two. Now, wait a minute. Just what do you think you're going to do? And who are you? I'm a United States Marshal. Whipple's the name. 
Now get busy and finish loading that boat. You can't arrest me. This is Mexico. You got no authority over here. <laughs> Reckon you're right there, Stinger. That's why I'm taking you back across. You can't do that, Marshal. I'm a Mexican citizen. You can't extradite me. I've seen your picture often enough back in Austin. You wanted for murder, arson, and robbery, and just about everything on the calendar. You skipped out when things got too hot for you, but you're still an American citizen. I won't go. I won't go back. Hey. Oh, you shot me in the hand, you murderer, Lord Dog. Stinger Baloo, oh. when you threw that knife, I could have killed you. But I'm oh. taking you across the river. As soon as we get on the other side, I'm putting oh. you under arrest. And you're going to stand trial for your crime. Napoli, don't take me across. I do nothing. You'll have plenty of occasion to prove that. Start loading, both of you. I can't. I can't with half my hand shot away. You got another hand? Come on, get busy. All right. All right, Marshal. You got the drop now. Maybe you can handle two men with your guns. But when we get across, you'll walk into another picture. My men on the other side won't leave the halter so easy. We'll take care of them when we get there. Now get that loading finished. <laughs> At the UW, Surly, Cloud, and Roof sit around the bunkhouse table playing cards and waiting for Stinger. In the storeroom adjoining lies Whitey, tightly bound. He's just regained consciousness after the cruel blow on his head when he hears a window opening cautiously. Mr. Whitey, you dead? No. No, I can hear you, Sun Lee. Sun Lee, hear you tell boss men. You not see Sun Lee. You good man. Sun Lee, grateful. You got to get me out there, Sun Lee. Get me out, trick. Sun Lee, very sally. Window too small. Sun Lee, no get in. Yo, but Mr. Whitey, no get out. I got to get out. Sun Lee, bling knife. Throw one four. You find. Maybe so, you cut rope. Listen, Sun Lee. I'm a United States deputy marshal, and the government is after these men for smuggling dope. Sun Lee, no dope smuggler. Sun Lee, poor China boy, far from No, 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 don't worry, Sun Lee. I'm not after you. Wait a minute, no. I can manage to stand up. I'll, I'll inch across the floor. And you reach in and cut the ropes in my hand. We do. But what will Mr. Whitey do then? Got gun? No, them coyotes, they took my gun. But I got another, another gun in the saddlebags. You find that and bring it to me. Will do, Mr. Whitey. Sonny, good boy. We'll help you, United States government men. But what you do then? You're going to help me, Sonny. No, Sonny, not strong, not brave. Poor China boy, far from home. Sun Lee fled. Both men. Both men. Sun Lee. Hey, can you reach the rope, Sun Lee? No. There, my hands are free. No, no, give me that knife. I'll have my feet free in a minute. Here is knife. Sun Lee, leave now. Go back. Go. Save it a minute, Sun Lee. Say, how would you like to be a deputy marshal yourself? You mean China boy? Work for United States? Sure. Have badge, too? Oh, no, sure. You can have a badge. Now listen to me. Have you got the gun? Shotgun in kitchen? But Sun Lee, not good shot. Well, no, you don't have to shoot nobody, Sun Lee. You're going to be the decoy. Decoy? What is decoy? It's unsafe. China boy not like to be unsafe. Oh, you'll be all right. You get my gun from the side of the bag. My badge is in there, too. You put that on trick. Is badge of government? Is make Sun Lee government boy? Yo, oh, yo, that's it. When you wear that badge, Sun Lee, that means the United States government is standing behind you. Sun Lee know that. But Sun Lee wonder if honorable government know it is to stand behind Sun Lee. Sun Lee, deputy marshal now. Sun Lee will do. I go. I come back. Government come back with me. Government and China boy make good. <laughs> Stinger's late tonight. Wonder if something happened. No, no. Stinger's too smart for that. He'll be along directly. Well, the king bet. What are you doing, Rufo? Huh? Up, Sam. Hey, 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 what's that? Hey, hey, outside the window. Yeah. yeah. Don't Stop. reach it for the ceiling. All of you. He's loose. And he's got a gun. How'd you get loose and where'd you get that gun? Nah, no, over there and shut up. We'll take questions and answers later. Come on in, Sonny. The campaign is over. Sonny, eh? Then you two was in cahoots. Is all right now, Mr. Whitey? Is Sonny and government do all right? <laughs> oh, you made enough noise for the whole army, Sonny. That gave him a chance to catch them looking all the way. 
Suddenly, no shoot good, but suddenly shoot loud, he ordered. Suddenly, I'll tear you apart for this. You won't get away Stop. with it. Suddenly, got bed. It's government bed. Suddenly, standing in front of United States government. It's a good place to stand. Suddenly, like very much. <laughs> Waiting for me, Marshal. Up there where the light shows, and then what are you planning on doing? Single handed. I'll figure that out when I get there. But keep your voice down if you want to stay healthy. We are going in. Locker goes first. No, no, not to me first. To make Stinger go first. Locker goes first, then Stinger, and then me with my gun in your back, Stinger. If they start something, well, you'll be the first to go, and don't forget that. Oh, now listen to reason, Marshal. There ain't no use starting a lot of trouble. I could make it worth your while. Stop talking and move fast. Go on. Quiet now, both of you. Barker, open the door and walk right in. Don't give no signals. Stinger and me will be right behind you. Open that door. Reach for the sky, all of you. You're under arrest. Oh, come in like this. You're just in time for the party. Stinger! So they'll catch you too, eh? We were depending on you. Mr. Whitey won't send me shoot these men all set. <laughs> no, don't shoot, Sonny. Lightly there's got them covered all right. We'll just add them to the collection. Whitey, how in tarnation? What are you doing anyhow? <laughs> I'm just having a little game of course, Lightning. Uh, see these fellas? I got their feet tied together so they uh, can't get no place. But I leave their hands free so we can play court. And me, a Sunday, government boy, me hold shotgun on them. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a shotgun trained on these coyotes, and you're taking the money away sure. from him. <laughs> and they were supposed to be such tough hombres. <laughs> oh, uh, so Lee Harris, our new deputy. And I think we got the something like this. China boy by himself, not brave, but with badge and government standing behind is dynamite. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And so ends another chapter in the thrilling adventures of Lightning Jim, United States Marshal of the Old West, and his courageous deputy, Whitey Lotz. Mm -hmm.